everyone, welcome to the top 10 list. Welcome to my top 10 favorite horror video games. Yes, horror video games. This is another Halloween slash horror related video, and I thought talk video games. This is another top 10 list that was very extremely difficult to make because I've only been recently getting back into gaming and stuff, so I haven't played every single video game, especially all the great horror video games that I've heard so much about, but you know what? I try. And out of the horror games I have played, this is my, this is my, I don't know why I'm doing an accent, this is my <laughs> top 10 personal, personal favorite horror video games. So yeah, as always for a top 10 list, you gotta have your top 10 list. I don't have a lot. Uh, it's The Evil Within, Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2, Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 7, the very first Resident Evil, and Silent Hill 2. And Bioshock 2. All great video games just can make the top 10 list, but I'm my top 10 was my number 10. My number 10 is Alien Isolation. Alien Isolation gives you everything uh, the title tells you. Isolation, atmosphere, and grim. It is a really great video game. Uh, I will not spoil what the plot is about and what time it takes place in. I'm not going to tell you if it's before or after Aliens. I will not spoil that, but just play the game, and if you love the Alien franchise, you're going to love this, and how they do the xenomorphs, how they do the jump scares, how they just make it just drip with the atmosphere is so fucking good. You feel like you are actually in those alien films when you watch this, when you play this video game, and it's extremely well done, and yeah, I really loved it. Coming to number 9 is Friday the 13th, The Game. Um, I never thought I'd like this game so much, but it's a lot of fucking fun. Um, again, because I'm not a huge Friday the 13th fan, um, I love Jason Voorhees as a character, he looks really fucking cool, and some films I, I do have a little bit of a soft spot for, like 1, 4, and 6, uh, but I, I don't love that franchise, I'm not like this dire Friday the 13th fan, I'm not, just, I don't know, I, I think it's kind of a, eh, it's a pretty lackluster, uh, film franchise. I love Halloween, I like the Halloween movies, I like the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, I actually hope they make um, a Nightmare on Elm Street video game like they did this Friday the 13th game, because I think that would be amazing. But as this game goes, it's a really cool game, and being at Camp Crystal Lake, being these like teenagers, camp counselors, trying to survive from Jason Voorhees, then you get to play Jason Voorhees, killing the counselors, it's just a really cool and very uh, fresh idea and a really cool game. Just. It's a lot of fun. Uh, just like Friday the 13th, it's just a fun slasher film. This is just a fun slasher video game, so yeah. Definitely play this one if you haven't played it. Coming to number 8 is Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights, Five Nights at Freddy's I actually played years ago at a friend's house, and we played like all night. It was just a lot of fun. It, it gets you on into jump scares. That's the whole idea of Five Nights at Freddy's, is just jump scare. And it's very effective. You know I hate jump scares in a movie. But when you're playing a video game, they do work, and they're very well done. Um, you basically just, you gotta survive five nights at, at Freddy's, that's it. And Freddy is this really ugly looking bear, stuffed bear monster that comes to kill you. Him and his friends, Roxy and Bonnie and whatever the fuck the other one is. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just you trying to survive the night. You have to look in all your cameras. You gotta serve, you gotta like save your power, um, you just gotta, you know, make sure those lights are on and everything, those doors are closed at the right moments, and as the nights keep going, it gets harder and harder, and just, when you're on that fifth night, it's almost damn near impossible to survive the fucking night, and you almost get frustrated, you're like, fuck you, Freddy, but, yeah, it's a, it's a very effective game, and it's fun. Point number seven is Alan Wake. Alan Wake was a really cool game, I played this again years ago, uh, I think I had a friend who loved video games, because uh, I wasn't a gamer, but he, he's like, oh, play this game, it's a really cool game. And it was, it was really cool, it was really sweet, a cool psychological thriller horror game, basically about this author going to vaca uh, on a vacation with his wife, and then they end up in this like weird town, and then almost his stuff from his novel almost starts happening in real life, and he has to deal with these really fucked up shit. And it's crazy, it's very, um... Twin Peaks meets like Silent Hill. It's very creepy, incredibly un unsettling, and just some things you have no idea what the hell is happening. And just I don't know who thought of this idea. But it was a really cool idea, and it's a very well written video game. 
and I really enjoyed the characters, and just, I enjoyed Alan himself, and just, it was a really cool game, and yeah, big surprise. Coming to number six is the original Silent Hill. Uh, I like Silent Hill 2, it's a really good game, Silent Hill, the original, is like shit your pants scary, because I played it as a kid, and I was way too young to play this game, because it gave me fucking nightmares, it was terrifying. Being this family that's going to Silent Hill, and trying to survive against all these fucking monsters and shit, it is terrifying. Like, the way they, like, sneak up behind you, the imagery that they put in, even though the, the graphics were really poor back in the 90s, they still were effective and very chilling and very, very scary. And, um, I didn't really like the movie. I hated Revelations, but I could see what that movie was going for because it was loyal to the game. But it didn't have that atmosphere, didn't have that impact that game had. Because the game was really, like, something ahead of its time with its storytelling and its scares and its maturity. And it was a hell of a game. And I, I can't really say a lot of games scare me, but this Silent Hill scared the shit out of me. Coming number five is Bioshock. Uh, I enjoyed the sequel to Bioshock. Uh, a couple are underwhelming, but uh, I enjoy most of them. Um... <laughs> Uh, the first one is legit awesome, though. I remember playing this for the PS3, and it is terrifying. The little girl, scary. The big daddies, terrifying. These creatures, as soon as you go into, um, fucking, what's the place called again? Um, some, I forget the place. It's like, I don't know, the underground sewers. I, oh my god, I'm blinking on what the city's called. <laughs> oh, uh, I'll put it right up there. Um. But, um, yeah, the, as soon as we see the girl, she's, like, talking to her baby and singing to it, and then she's, like, sees and goes, ah, and, like, attacks you, and you have to, like, shoot her and stuff. It gets, it gets, it gets crazy. Um, but, yeah, it, this is a really cool game. It's, it's very difficult at times. Some of the puzzles you have to solve is difficult. Some of the, the running aspects, running away from things, and, because you can't fight those big daddies at first, and just some of the just disturbing imagery that's in this game is just unsettling, but it's a fun game still. It's a great game. Coming number four is Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 was my favorite Resident Evil game when I was a teenager. Because uh, I love Leon S. Kennedy and I was glad to see him back. No Claire, but still Leon and the shit he has to deal with. And especially like it's all in like a swamp and in the woods and it's all foggy and grainy. It makes it more creepy. This one was... Super, this is probably, the I think, the hardest Resident Evil game. The zombies are harder to kill. The The last boss is borderline impossible. The characters are f f infuriating to get information out of. Like, it, it is such a hard game. But because it is such a hard game, when you finally beat it, you feel like you accomplished something. Even though you didn't, but you feel like you did. And you feel great about it. And it's just a really great, spooky game. And it's Leon S. Kennedy back fucking up some zombies, and who doesn't love that? Coming number three is Until Dawn. Until Dawn, oh, oh, death. Uh, I love Until Dawn. I was just playing it again the other the other day. I just, I, I can't get enough of this game. This game is just such a cool game. I actually hope they make an Until Dawn 2, but with, like, completely different characters and shit like that. Um, I know there's something else with Until Dawn. Like, I actually want, like, a legit game, like, another PS4 game. Or for the PS5, like, another Until Dawn 2, like, you know, different characters fighting the Wendigo. I just want to see what kind of decisions they would make. Like, I just, I kind of want to see that. Because I've beaten Until Dawn, like, seven times, so I've seen everyone's ending, pretty much. And I wanted, to, I want different characters now, but Until Dawn is a great game, great atmosphere. I've actually, my movie that I'm making has got a lot of similarities to Until Dawn, so was, and, and Until Dawn was a huge inspiration for me creating my film, and, uh, really great, great, great game. I love the characters, mostly Mike and Sam, they, they are the badass characters, but just, I love decision-based games, like, you make the decisions for these characters, and you get to decide who lives and who dies, and just what kind of suffering they all have to go through, and it's fascinating. You get to play God in this game, and it's interesting, and yeah, I think, and Dota is not, like, just, like, one of my favorite horror video games, but it's one of my favorite video games ever, and, yeah, love it. Coming number two is Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2, I, like I said, when I was a teenager, Resident Evil 4 was my favorite. As of now, Resident Evil 2 is my favorite. Uh, between the remake and just 
replaying the old school PS1 game, it's a better game. It's got the more scares. It's got Leon S. Kennedy, Claire, two characters I love. Great duo right there. And it's just, it just really puts, it, it is like the definition of what Resident Evil is. Just all the zombies, the monsters, the location, Raccoon City, just everything that happens in Resident Evil 2, just, it, it feels very Resident Evil. I always like, every, it's kind of like when you watch Empire Strikes Back. You're like, what is the most Star Wars film out of all the Star Wars films? I say Empire Strikes Back. That is like the definition of a Star Wars film. It's kind of like Resident Evil 2. That is like the definition of a Resident Evil game. So yeah, that's why it's my favorite. And my number one favorite horror video game is easily The Last of Us. The Last of Us is the like, top five favorite video games of all time. This, amazing. The adventure uh, you go on with Joel and Ellie is such a gripping adventure. The chemistry between these two characters is unbelievably fantastic. Uh, it's sad, it's emotional, it's dark, it's twisted. It can be funny, but it can be absolutely horrific. You're fighting, you're not just fighting against zombies in this game, too. You're fighting against, like, true, truly awful human beings. And then you yourself in the game is kind of like an awful human being, because some of the decisions you make as Joel is pretty fucked up decisions. No spoilers, but I can't wait for The, the Last of Us 2. I really can't, but... The Last of Us is such a gripping video game. Like, oh my god, the shit you have to do and the shit you go through is incredible. And the two characters of Joel and Ellie are some of my favorite characters ever in video games. And just, yeah. Last of Us, easily my favorite horror video game of all time. So yeah, that's my top 10 favorite horror video games, in my opinion. So in the comment section below, please tell me, did you grade this top 10 list? If not, give me your guys top 10 favorite horror video games in your guys' opinion. Comment below, let me know, and as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and join the duck side.